Marco, this is becoming quite some season for you. You've just won your second ATP title. How are you feeling? Are you on a high coming here from Umag? Yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing because this year is a, is a good year. I think it's the best moment of my life. Uh, yesterday for me was the second title on my career. So it's an it's amazing week because I played every day better. And I start on the first round, I was 6-2 for love, love for you on my serve. And after I won the tournament, so it's, a, it's good for me. I feel very good and I'm very, very happy. And how do you compare something like winning Umaga 250 or getting to the semi-final of Roland Garros? Two very different experiences. One, you get the trophy and the other, you get the prestige of beating so many top players. Yeah, of course. Umag is the trophy and the winner and champion, but in Roland Garros was the history because the last player of Italian from 40 years old was uh, Corrado Barazzutti. Uh, so uh, now the, I think is uh, the best moment of my life because after Roland Garros, all the people, you know, every time speak, ah, now Marco maybe lost, maybe won, is uh, you know, is a. Uh, he start to, to say something and after I, after the Roland Garros I semi-final in Eastbourne in grass so for me it was the first time semi-final in grass and after I played so and so in Wimbledon I lost in first round and after uh, I coming back on red clay after Roland Garros in Umag first tournament after Roland Garros and I won the tournament so I think it is uh, it's positive for me. Well, yeah, you mentioned Eastbourne and the, the semi-final run there. How much of a bonus was that? Because I, I imagine you hadn't played much grass court tennis before that at that level to go clay grass and then clay again. Yeah, before Eastbourne, I played one match in grass uh, last year against Nishikori. So I, I arrived in Eastbourne and I think now is, uh, for me it's good. I played this tournament before Wimbledon. It's a, it's a good moment for me. And I start to play in grass and I like grass this year because I beat two good players in grass, Istomin and Milman. And after I play so and so in Wimbledon, but doesn't matter. And after I practice again in red clay and you said good grass, clay and it's okay. But uh, I coming back in red clay and I won the tournament. So it's, uh, it's good for me. Like you say, back on clay and a, a different kind of experience now coming into Hamburg because this is an ATP 500, you're seeded, you're seeded sixth, you have Monfils in the first round and you're expected to win. I know, but it's tough first round because I'm seeded, you know, and I play against Guy Monfils. It's a very tough match because I know very good him. It's possible to happen everything because always is a... Uh, it's happened with Gael, but so I'm I'm feel good. I just arrived in Hamburg. I I like so much this tournament, and tomorrow we will see. And you've played Hamburg many times before, but your record hadn't been great. But obviously this year is a very different year. So can you, are you confident of breaking that record here? Yeah, I remember I played last year against Florian Meyer, and after I lost in final. So this year is uh, totally different for me. I arrived from Umag after one tournament won. So I feel good now with confidence and tomorrow I want to, to play good.